Hi, I'm David, founder of Moksha Life. For eight years, I suffered from debilitating chronic fatigue, brain fog, and other mysterious conditions that doctors just couldn't figure out. After looking for answers for about one year, I hit rock bottom emotionally and physically because doctors just kept telling me it was in my head and my own family was just wondering why I wasn't just powering through this. It was at this point I vowed to myself that if I ever find an answer, if I ever cure myself, I promise to share this with the world. It turns out that my life's biggest challenge was actually my life purpose in disguise. Moksha Life is where I bring together the knowledge and practices that I wish I had at the outset of my physical and emotional healing journey. If you're suffering from chronic fatigue, brain fog, or some other mysterious condition that your doctor says is in your head, well, you're in the right place. I keep theory to a minimum because let's face it, you've wasted enough of your life being sick. And instead I focus on practical tips to help get you well as soon as possible. So rather than fixating on a diagnosis or labeling your condition, I bring together the best of Ayurveda, functional medicine, emotional healing, personal transformation, and other modalities in order to help you uncover the underlying root imbalances that are preventing you from living the powerful, fulfilling life that I know resides within you. So while I go into my personal health journey in other videos, here's a quick recap. In short, living below my potential made me sick. Starting in my late teens, I started to feel tired, lethargic, and completely lost my zest for life. I, was, I spent the next five years just masking my symptoms, taking um, energy drinks, was on a strict plant-based diet, and then worst of all, I was taking ADD medication on a frequent basis. And while this did work for a little bit, particularly with my energy levels, um, I eventually started to feel this um, dissociating, debilitating brain fog. I felt like I was living in a dream completely outside of myself. I was disconnected from myself, from others, and from life as a whole. And this brain fog just completely shattered my confidence. It made it impossible to socialize. I just wanted to crawl up in a hole and run away. And, you know, I didn't really feel like I could amount to much of anything in life. I didn't feel capable of doing anything in life. I felt that I needed to just play it safe and survive at best. Okay, so this went on for, I would say, a year or two, specifically the brain fog. And then at, in uh, 2014, I was, um, living in Shanghai, China at the time. And so I returned back to the US. And then I spent two years going from um, doctor to doctor, you know, conventional doctors, alternative doctors, naturopaths, and none of them could actually answer the question, what was at the root of my chronic fatigue and brain fog? There were some theories here. Um, you know, at best, they kind of gave me some supplements. At worst, they just told me it was in my head because it was beyond their understanding or beyond their expertise. And um, as a result, you know, I felt more and more depressed, more and more isolated. And so after doing this for about six months, it just became clear to me that I need to take this into my own hands. And so I started spending thousands of hours just researching, going on PubMed, YouTube videos. Um, I went to seminars, I got into biohacking. And through that, and also through the help of mentors and some great um, natural medicine uh, practitioners, I was able to find some physiological underlying root causes, you know, in my diet, in my environment, and in my genetics. So healing myself physically was actually just the beginning of my journey. I thought it was already a really big step at that point, but it was um, really just preparing me for the next level. And so what that meant for me was that I started to look under the hood. I started to examine what is the role of my mindset and my emotions here. And fortunately, I came across practices, events, people that really allowed me to kind of peel back the proverbial onion. And underneath was actually a lifetime of repressed emotions, of limiting beliefs that I acquired in childhood, and then chronic self-loathing, all of which contributed to my dis-ease in ways that I didn't really understand at the time. And so from there, I started to acquire skill sets to powerfully experience, embody, and release emotions, right? Then I learned to rewire my subconscious mind and then also to upgrade my self-image so that I didn't have that self-loathing, that self-judgment that I carried with me and was really weighing me down in life. And this allowed me to really be free to pursue my life purpose, to know what I want out of this one life that I have, and then ultimately um, to feel safe in the world. I never really felt safe. All right, well, that was just a quick recap of my story. For more of a full-length version, or if you have any questions, um, leave them in the comments below. You could also check out my other videos uh, on my personal health journey. Okay, so simply put, 
Moksha Life is really about deeply understanding your bio-individuality in reference to the De-Stress Plus protocol and then developing a lifestyle around that. Okay, so here's what the De-Stress protocol stands for. So D is for diet, of course. And so specifically, what is the right kind of diet for your body type, for your mind body type, for the environment that you live in? Okay, the next one is gonna be E is for exercise. So how should you be moving your body? How, um, what are we moving our body for? Like what's it in service for? Do you have a specific body transformation goal? Um, what is the, you know, your quality of mind on a regular basis? What are some other factors in your life that are gonna influence the type of movement that you engage in? The next one is stress. And we're not just talking about some mindfulness meditation. We're gonna go really deep into how stress affects your thyroid, how it um, affects the HPA access, how it affects female hormones. Um, what are the various types of stress in your environment? Um, so this is going to be something that's taken very seriously. Next is toxins. And so um, toxin release or detoxing is the foundation of a lot of ancient medical traditions. But we seem to have lost our way. And so being able to remove waste effectively from the body is just so integral to having um, a balanced body because there's 77,000 man-made chemicals in our environment. Um, if you just search any of the common household products, you'll see that there's endocrine disruptors, carcinogens, and so much more that just simply doesn't belong into our body. It's no wonder that most people are sick. The next one is gonna be R is for rest. So how do we have high quality restorative rest? We wanna have high quality kind of me time, and then of course, improving your sleep. Next one is gonna be E is for emotions. So um, what is the quality of your mind on a regular basis? And you know this um, gets into slightly esoteric territory because a lot of people don't really believe that um, emotions affect their physical health in any really very real or practical way. Um, but taking an inventory, being able to govern your internal states, and when you are in, let's say, quote unquote, like low vibrational emotions, such as like shame, anger, how do you process that? How do you interact with those uh, emotions and ultimately move through them? The next one is going to be S is for supplements. And so um, unfortunately, a lot of our top soils are stripped of a lot of nutrients. And many of us have genetic predispositions or um, issues that uh, require us to take specific types of supplements that we require to nourish ourselves in a specific way uh, because it would simply be too difficult to get these nutrients through food. So supplements are um, a really integral part of how um, I approach getting people well. The next one is going to be success mindset. So this is going to be um, what kind of mindsets are you carrying? How, how do you, what ceilings do you have for your own growth? What limits are you imposing on yourself? How do you see the world? How do you see reality? How do you construct kind of this whole thing we call life? Um, and so that's gonna be really critical, especially when you set out to do something big with your life. Um, your own mindset and self-image um, are really gonna be a ceiling for that. So that's where I'm gonna really invite a lot of the personal transformation type of um, content into the space. And then the last one is the plus. And the plus stands for purpose. And so that kind of comes down to, well, now we got you healthy, you're physically healthy, you are able to respond to life in a very um, productive and constructive way. So why are we healthy? What, what are you gonna do with your health, right? What do you have to offer to the world? And I love life purpose because this really gives you a reason to wake up in the morning to really use your gifts and show up in a powerful way. It's totally game changing once you um, gain clarity on your life purpose and you start to look at your own life as the hero's journey. Uh, you look at obstacles differently. You see them as opportunities for growth. And um, this whole game of life just takes on uh, such a rich dimension. And you, you aren't gonna be one of those people that is just working a job as a wage slave and just paying bills and then doing some pleasure seeking um, on the weekends and occasionally going on a trip. That's not gonna be you because you're gonna have a higher mission in life. And that's gonna bring a level of joy and fulfillment um, that material possessions and pleasure seeking just simply can do. And so that is kind of the, you know, the tip of the iceberg really um, of why we're getting healthy, what we're doing with this health is kind of pushing towards that self-actualization. So my intention here is to release videos on a frequent basis that address root cause imbalances that 
are often not talked about or not talked about particularly well. And just to offer this kind of de-stress protocol perspective where I'm really integrating a lot of different modalities, um, bridging physical health and mental health, and then eventually spirituality and life purpose. Um, ultimately, I wanna empower you to reclaim your life from disease. And so I'm here for you. So if there's something that I'm not covering that you would like me to cover, go ahead and leave them in the comments below or you could fill out uh, one of the Google Forms that I include in most of my videos. And that way um, you can just share something that maybe you're not comfortable sharing in the comments below, totally fine. Uh, you know, additionally, beyond just sharing knowledge, you know, we're really about the rubber meeting the road here. And so I'm gonna be sharing practices that are gonna help you overcome behaviors, mindsets, and toxic emotions that are holding you back because reclaiming your physical health is as much about your mindset as it is about the things that you're putting in your body. It took me a long time to figure that out. And I know that the holistic health journey can be a lonely one. And so I wanna kind of bring together the community and specifically what I'm thinking of is group coaching. And so I want to, for a lot of these protocols like the functional medicine liver detox, the intestinal cleanse, the heavy metal detox, you might be the only person that you know that is doing these things. People might think you're crazy. They're like, what, you're on a detox? Like, what is that about? some some woo, woo stuff um, so I want you to feel supported and seen and and kind of heard in your experience and so um, the the general idea there is that we'll we're gonna be doing let's say the functional medicine liver detox together I'm gonna hop on two or three zoom calls answer any questions um, people can share their experiences what they're going through um, and there can be a really nice cross-pollination of knowledge and experiences in that context which is great and for those of you who want to dive deeper, who really want to deeply understand a certain topic like digestion, thyroid health, chronic fatigue, I am going to be creating these like kind of health accelerator or deep dive courses where I condense dozens of hours of information just into a few hours. So you can take like an afternoon basically and just really master a specific topic and it's gonna be very actionable. It's gonna address a lot of the common dysfunctions or imbalances that happen in those specific areas. Um, and it's really gonna set you up for success in that area of your health. So I'm really looking forward to offering those in the near future. And lastly, I am a practicing integrative health practitioner. So if you wanna work with me one-on-one, -on -one, um, feel free to use the Calendly link and book a time with me. Just share your journey. See if um, I'm a good fit for you, if I could help. Um, and I will, of course, offer any resources that I can because ultimately I'm here to get you well. Um, if uh, the Calendly link doesn't work, you could just always email me at david at mokshalife.co. All right, so that's it. Thanks for sticking around for the welcome channel. And once again, a warm welcome to Moksha Life. I really look forward to sharing knowledge and practices that are gonna set you free from disease and set you on your hero's journey to live out your life purpose. So I just have these parting words for you. May you be happy, May you be healthy, and may you move through this world with ease and self-acceptance. I'll see you soon.